Hello, hello, welcome back to some more Conduit 2. In the last episode, we ended off with uh, me dying, and in this episode, I am tossing grenades by accident because I have an itch at the top of my head, and it's triggering the motion sensor. Alright, so without further ado, let's get a going. <sighs> Man, if y you're like, oh man, you sound tired. Yeah, um, so funny thing, uh, last night I was up until about 1 in a, till about, um, 120 getting, actually it was, um, it was up until like midnight I was working on my entry for the Team 4 Star, um, a Bridgethon contest, and... I am about to die. And anyway, ah, I'm not about to die, although I guess I could feel that way. So I was up until like uh, midnight working on it. And then I had to stay up for another about an hour just to get it uh, submitted uh, to the right place. And it was, uh, I didn't have difficulty getting it submitted. I was just, it took forever to upload to WeTransfer. And then um, it took a while for uh, me to get everything together so that I could send it in via email. So that was uh, an interesting uh, time last night going into this morning. Excuse you, where did you come from? Go away. And anyways, um, so yeah, I was working... Uh, hard on that special thanks to uh, Dan and Cannon for uh, helping me make that uh, project a reality I didn't uh, uh, start work on okay so a little bit of a backstory about um, that project it um, I actually started halfway through the month because I didn't know about it until about the uh, the 20th of June and then when I did uh, find out about it it took a, a whole day for me to get everything put together so we could uh, so Ken and I could start working on it and so you know we we worked really hard and then I had Dan come in to help with uh, some of the lip flaps and Dan's a freaking genius he's also a super quick learner which is part of what makes him a genius uh, I showed him the um, <clears throat> the how to do basic lip flaps and um, basic um, sound uh, design tutorials for um, uh, on uh, how to abridge uh, videos and whatnot. And he just uh, picked it up right away. Like like he just like I guess he just you know figured out fairly quickly you know like oh I gotta do this and then he just did it and it was amazing so yeah special special thanks to him special thanks to uh, uh, Canon you've all seen Canon uh, if you follow my vlog that is and also um, he guest starred on that final episode of um, uh, uh, the force unleashed so he he was there too in fact I think pretty much the whole group uh, was uh, there. You also may have heard him from uh, the Terrible Terrible podcast. So, yeah, special thanks to those two guys. Uh, it, I feel like, um, like with everything, like you, like I could most definitely uh, have done uh, better with the Abridged series, but then at the same time, like, I did the best that I could with what I had, which was Wondershare Filmora, which for Let's Plays is really great, but as it, as I found out relatively quickly, it's um, not too great for bridging. So that was kind of like a stress test for, uh, for the editor, for the editing program. But, you know, it was a good learning experience. Uh, will I do more in the future? It's hard to say right now. I'm not too terribly sure. Uh, if I ever do decide to do something like that again, I will let you guys know. And I just totally threw a radiation grade at myself because I have an itchy scalp. Fantastic. 
Uh, yeah, let's switch over to the Scar and just use human weapons for a while. So, how have you guys been? Uh, like I said, I was up until like 2 o'clock in the morning trying to get everything together. Uh, but I think it's going to be uh, well worth it once the results get in. Even if uh, my entry doesn't make it into the uh, top 30, uh, which is like just basically like after you... If you make it past round 1, you're in the, uh, the top 30%. Or not the top 30%, but like the top 30 videos. Um, and so, even if I don't get into that, there is the uh, audience awards uh, thing. So, you know, and who, like those who get voted, uh, voted the highest in that will get a medal. So, yeah, you know, it's just, it's all in good fun. I have no idea if I'm ever going to do a bridging again. That was definitely a trip. If I do, it'll, I'll probably use Premiere. Like, you know, somebody who doesn't want their brain ripped out through their eyes would. <laughs> but yeah, as much as I, like, you know, just totally just riff on the fact that I had to use Filmora, it, it wasn't too bad. It could have been worse. Um, but, you know... It, you know, that that's what I get for, you know, choosing, you know, n the not most popular. It's funny because usually when an editing software isn't popular, it's not that it's not bad. It's just not popular. And so I was like, yeah, I'll just use, I'll use Filmora because uh, HitFilm doesn't seem to want to work currently. I just need to, I probably just need to reinstall it. It's probably a basic solution to that problem. And Pinnacle Studio, well, it just flat out refuses to run half the time, which is fine because as long as I have it uh, installed, I get to use this capture device. But there will probably come a time where I'm just gonna straight up move on from the Dazzle. But you know that that time will come, and we will most certainly burn that bridge when we get to it. <laughs> Oh man, I've just been uh, rambling on and on. I am so incredibly sorry, but, uh, you know, it's just, you know, I, I talk about, you know, what's the most uh, recent thing that's been going on uh, when doing these videos. Hold on, I have another itch. I am so incredibly sorry. Um, and really, the thing that, you know, is the most uh, eventful thing that's happened so far is indeed that uh, a Bridgethon entry. So. Yeah, uh, that was uh, definitely a lot of fun. I have no idea if I'm ever going to do that again. If I do, like I said, I'll let you guys know. But moving on, um, so if you go through uh, that way, that way is just basically a way you can get another conspiracy object to get some uh, more monies. Ex I'm going to have to ask you to stop that. And where's the other one? You cannot hit the broad side of the barn. Well then, much like a stormtrooper. It's funny because uh, stormtroopers being terrible at aiming is apparently canonical now uh, because of Star Wars Rebels. And apparently the reasoning is uh, nobody can see through their helmets properly. So apparently that's the canonical reason as to why stormtroopers are so terrible at aiming. <laughs> uh, I don't know, It's it's silly, but you know... They're like, hey, stormtroopers can't aim. Let's make fun of that. And they did, and it's a beautiful joke. I feel like I took a wrong turn somewhere. I need to be up there. So if we go up here. All right. I think I need to go to the left. Yeah, I think so. That sounds about right. Yep. I do believe so. Is this... Yep, 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 yep. Right over here. There we go. Oh, we need to crawl through that. Alright. Whoops. Almost fell. But yeah, if, um, if you haven't seen uh, my abridged uh, entry, my abridgedthon entry, I highly recommend it. Uh, just to kind of, you know, see... I, I feel like it's kind of like a taste for you guys, like a taste of what's to come. Not I switched it from the 12th kind to Doorman Productions. One, because it just 
it sounds better and two i want to do more things than just let's plays on this channel i want to do skits short films possibly bridge videos so uh yeah so that's a little taste of uh what's to come as far as uh, skits and short films and stuff like that i actually set up a playlist called skits and short films and i might just um set up a completely different playlist uh called a bridge videos where I have all the abridged videos that I make. Hopefully I'll make some more. I just don't know what to abridge next. If I um, if I just uh, do one episode of uh, Clone Wars Abridged, um, I would kind of like to see um, what else is there I can abridge. The, the, the big thing that I had a problem with with Clone Wars Abridged was that it was one of those high budget cartoons so the um there was a lot of motion going on in the background and that was just very difficult to um to mask properly so you got the background moving and you still got uh lip flaps uh, so you know that was just a little it was difficult for sure but it was a great learning experience so what are we doing in this episode? Well, we are continuing with the uh, Washington DC uh, mission. Okay, that's the that's a ham radio. Let me double check. Nothing up. Oh, yep. There's one thing up here. Another conspiracy object. And if we go downstairs, uh, there is a a creature. There there are several enemies down here. Oops. Hello. Can you can you just they don't, the thing about those enemies is they don't do a lot of damage, but they do it, um, they, they make it so fast, so it kind of just, like, I guess compensates is not the word I'm looking for. It's, uh, it, it's kind of like, you know, a, um, a thief, a thief, uh, if it has high enough stats could probably attack twice if it ha if the thief has a dagger. And daggers don't do a lot, but if you've got, like, a, a couple of those daggers going off, like, one right after another, you know, it, it helps. So, yeah. So this area I uh, like to refer to as Sniper Junction. Basically, there, um, there are other enemies. There, there are enemies around that have the, uh, the scar, which is, if I can pull it out, this, this guy... So basically what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to be kind of careful because the snipers can pose to be a problem. But luckily this game has uh, body hits, so if um, you see a sniper, you can just shoot him in the head. Oh, hello, you guys just appeared out of nowhere. But yeah. So you may have noticed that when I use the scope, it's a single shot, but if I use it from uh, the hip... It's uh, it's automatic, so that that's a little interesting. So in case you guys, I think this is the only human uh, snipe sniping weapon that like uses ballistics. I think the other is energy based, and it's not really a sniper rifle, but I guess it can be con uh, considered one. I've just never found a proper classification for it. But yeah, that's uh, that's a minor spoiler for a uh, much cooler weapon that. Um, we might be able to find uh, later on in the uh, in the series. It's um, I want to say it's towards the end of the game, but it's probably not. Oh, yeah, we've got this little cutscene. <laughs> One thing this game likes to do is uh, lock you in place for uh, in-game cutscenes. You also can't do anything but look around. And then we have like a cutscene cutscene. Speak, and I won't. What's going on here? Some drugs still work for the trust. Some do not. Since when? Everything changed when you freed us. You are the Liberator. I didn't free anyone. Listen, where's Adams? He's heading toward the National Institute. All right, bug man, move out. My name is Vex. According to the files, there should be a conduit at the National Institute we can leave through once we're done. 
Sadly, I cannot. I must free my brethren. When I do, we will meet you at the Institute. But the trust is sealing off the city. Here, this vent will get around their blockade. Listen, you find your friends and meet me there. But I'm not gonna wait for you, understood? Yes. Thank you, Liberator. So I'm, I'm curious if uh, anybody else just got like a, a Half-Life 2 kind of vibe there. That's kind of um, how I, um, I felt when I got through that part. I was like, huh, it kind of feels a little uh, Half-Life 2-y. That did not make any sense whatsoever. There we go. Again, with the random 60 FPS, like I'm grateful that I know that the that this game is capable of 60 FPS, but just like, wow. It, it, it just goes at 60 FPS sometimes. And then other times it goes down to 30, which is really odd. Now slowly, carefully got him. All right, can I get a, can I shoot through this and hit him? Does he have a lock on me? I think he has a lock on me. I think he sees me. Alright, let's see if I can get him through the glass. Nope. Not necessarily. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh wow, look at the texture glitch. It The bullet hole is still in the air. Oh wow, that's awesome. Hello there. And a three. Three. Oh, he shot me. <laughs> or shot at me. He didn't really shoot me. The glass protected me. It was like a case of who's going to shoot first? Me or you? Turns out it was me. It was me the whole time. Me, me, me. I am Han Solo. <laughs> you know, let's use a radiation grenade on that car. See what happens. Oh, man, we destroyed the fire hydrant. That's cool. Oh, man, the radiation grenade, like... Sets the car on fire and it exploded to take care of everyone. Oh, it took care of them. It's all that matters. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of that car because that car is going to cause us problems. Whoop. Fall on down. Oh, I could have waited. But I didn't. You know what? Let's switch over to the uh, the SMG. So I can aim down my sights and do full auto, which is super nice. Let me get this gun reloaded in time for him to die. There we go. And one thing I've noticed is uh, those super armor guys like always use shotguns, which is interesting. I have uh, yet to see. Uh, I guess it's just you know what they do is they just use shotguns, which is rather unfortunate. Because, you know, a super heavy guy using uh, super powerful uh, uh, weapons. Let's get out of the way because the stuff is going to explode. Oh, yep, there it is. There's one. Yeah. Um, and so... Uh, and so, anyways, yeah, it's just like... Have the guy in, like, super powerful armor and a super powerful weapon. That would be... Like a great combo, and I think it's uh, because I'm playing on guarded. Um, pretty uh, soon enough, I will uh, bump up the difficulty because you know guarded as well, super easy. And so I think uh, once we get into this uh, some more, I will most definitely turn up the difficulty. Excuse you. Did I ask you for your opinion? No, I did not. Go away. Oh, and another one. And another one. And another one. Just go away. There we go. I am almost dead. Ah, oh, man. Woo. All right, let's let's make our way to this to this door over here. I think yep, there's a conspiracy object. Let's scan it. And there are two guys right there in front of us. Uh Flubber nugget. Oh, and we're down. Because I was stuck in the reloading animation. Fantastic. Yep, let's continue on some more. Oh, we're actually getting close to time though. You know what? Let's push it let's push it to thirty minutes. And let's get back to where we were. 
And then we can uh, call it quits. That guy was about to shoot his friend just to get at me. <laughs> Priorities. That totally still doesn't see me. Even after I've shot him so many times. You know what? Just spray and pray. Spraying and praying. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. That works. Let's throw the radiation grenade down there. Go ahead and throw a regular grenade as well. Just to kind of get those out of the way. Actually, huh. Yeah, let's actually get that car exploded. They're done. All right, I'm actually going to have to call it uh, quits here. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And in the next episode, we will uh, continue on, hopefully getting our way closer to the Institute. All right, see you guys then.